How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. The following eerie video clips have left internet users spooked. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. When Twitter user Shawbury Bunny set out to create a student film, she probably didn't expect to capture any real ghost encounters on camera. However, that's exactly what happened when she began filming this particular scene in the control room of the auditorium. The footage begins with the camera moving steadily down a short, dimly lit hallway. Knock, 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 go. As it approaches the door at the end, it suddenly swings open as if pushed forcefully by the actress on the other side. <laughs> However, as the actress emerges from the darkness, it becomes apparent that it wasn't her who opened it. Confused, she appears to ask the camera holder if someone on their side had opened the door. <laughs> if you slow the footage down, you can clearly see that no one touched the door from the outside. To make matters even spookier, if you look closely at the darkened room behind the actress, there appears to be a shadowy figure moving behind her. The footage isn't clear enough to make a good impression of who or what it is, however it seems likely that this ghostly shape could be the culprit for the door's mysterious movement. That, coupled with the fact that the actress has a genuine look of surprise on her face, suggests that these budding filmmakers might have actually captured some paranormal activity on camera. Graduations are a time for celebrating accomplishments, enjoying your final moments with your classmates and looking forward to whatever the future has in store. However, not many people can claim their graduations were interrupted by a terrifying ghost encounter. At a ceremony in the Philippines, that's exactly what happened. As the camera holder pans around the group attempting to capture as many students as possible in the footage, you can clearly see a white, ghostly figure standing on the roof of a nearby building. For a moment, it almost looks as if it's one of the graduating students. The white dress worn by the ghostly entity is an eerie echo of the graduation gowns worn by the students. However, the figure on the roof stands deathly still, watching the students in silence. Many have likened the ghostly figure to the infamous White Lady, a type of spirit often seen all around the world. She is a ghost typically associated with violent, tragic ends, often roaming the earth in a state of grief, sometimes searching for a lost lover or even a child. While it's unclear how many of the graduating students actually noticed the figure standing above them, one thing is for sure, this is certainly some very creepy footage. This video uploaded to YouTube by Alan Abweg shows that ghost encounters can often occur when you least expect them. At least that's what happened to this custodial worker at a school in Victoria, Laguna, Philippines. The CCTV security footage shows the cleaner sweeping the floor on an outdoor veranda. When his back is turned, something suddenly begins moving behind him. He doesn't seem to notice, but the objects appear to be moving without human intervention. <laughs> if you zoom in, it looks as though it's a broom and dustpan that slide across the floor. Some viewers have suggested that the wind could be responsible for their unusual movement. However, both of these objects look far too heavy and there's no other signs of a breeze, particularly when you look at the trees in the background. So what do you think? Could it be possible that the broom and dustpan really were moved by some sort of supernatural force? Or is it more likely that the cleaner was simply the brunt of a creepy practical joke? Let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. YouTube channel Horrifying Nightmares is no stranger to ghost encounters. It seems that their home has had more than its fair share of visitations from beyond the grave. Their kitchen, in particular, seems to be a beacon for paranormal activity. 
Their YouTube channel boasts numerous videos depicting the ghostly apparitions and possible poltergeist activity that have kept the family on edge for months. Because the visitations have been so frequent, they decided to set up cameras around the house so that they'd be prepared to capture all of the fascinating yet terrifying ghost encounters. In this clip, their young child gets seriously spooked while playing with the refrigerator magnets. As the child begins moving them around, the magnets suddenly slide across the refrigerator as if manipulated by some unseen force. The child is clearly startled and runs around the corner to another room. It's easy to see why some might think that the magnets were on a string being pulled by someone off camera. However, if you zoom in, it appears there's no string at all. What happened? If this video does indeed show evidence of a real ghost encounter, it seems unclear what the spirit's motivations are for visiting this family. Is it malevolent or is it just bothersome? Was the ghost trying to scare the child or was it just playing along? No harm has been done so far, but only time will tell. When YouTuber Patrick Cochran decided to visit the notoriously haunted Hinsdale House in New York, he was certainly hoping to capture some ghost encounters on camera. According to the legends, the Dandy family moved into the property during the 1970s, believing they had found their dream home. However, their dream quickly turned into a nightmare. In the beginning, the family would receive bizarre phone calls. Objects started moving around the house on their own, and the family heard mysterious demonic chanting coming from the woods nearby. They even started seeing apparitions of a woman in white, human-animal hybrids, and demons. On one particular night, the family noticed several sinister-looking faces staring at them through the windows. However, when Mr. Dandy ran outside to confront the trespassers, the faces suddenly reversed and were seen peering at him from inside the house. The incidents eventually turned violent when objects began hurling themselves at the family, causing significant injuries. At this point, the family called a team of paranormal investigators, along with a priest named Father Alphonsus. The priest performed an exorcism while the family and investigators watched. Unfortunately, the exorcism didn't work and the family was forced to move out of the house. In this video, uploaded to YouTube by Patrick Cochran, a group of paranormal investigators decide to visit the house, which many believe could still be haunted by the same demons that plagued the Dandy family. As the investigators search the premises, they inadvertently capture something rather chilling. While peering into one of the bedrooms with a flashlight, a strange shape seems to manifest out of the darkness. The uploader believes that this shape could actually be a disembodied arm and shoulder of some sort of ghostly entity. If you slow the footage down, there is certainly something there, and it does indeed bear an eerie resemblance to an arm. It's only there for a split second, then it disappears, just as mysteriously as it first appeared. What do you think the strange shape could be? Is it really the arm of a ghost, or could it be something else entirely? Love to get your opinions on this one in the comments section below. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a woman who believes ghosts are haunting her, Remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle the bell icon. That way you'll be in the loop about all our scary and creepy content. YouTube paranormal investigation channel Ashes to Ashes often looks into cases of hauntings and possessions. A woman named Gail contacted them, claiming that after experimenting with a Ouija board years ago, she's been plagued by paranormal experiences ever since. She says that the worst of it happens at night. She hears voices, feels burning on her skin, and gets scratched, slapped, and even choked. The investigative team arrives to attempt to document her experiences, hoping to help her by proving that what she's going through is indeed real. During their time in the house, the team's cameras capture a variety of mysterious and terrifying sounds, 
such as footsteps moving from one side of the house to the other. Now her dog's confined to one room, so there's no reason why the footsteps should be running from one side to the other. They use specialised equipment to attempt to communicate with the entity and hear fairly clear voices saying, Gregory, Who's breathing in my ear? Tom wants you. And go with him. Is there anything that would like to, uh, is there anything that would like to, uh, the investigator then feels something breathing right next to his ear as he attempts to communicate with the disembodied voices. I know you were downstairs because I felt you and heard you. I heard the breathing that uh, Gail always hears. Gail begins to feel the entity touching her and immediately sees bruises appearing on her body. We're not here to antagonize you. However, the most terrifying message is heard after Gail becomes so uncomfortable that she feels compelled to leave the room. The investigators continue asking questions and the entity says, we've all come for her, we've all come for her. This chilling message is the last the team receives and while it isn't certain what the voices want from Gail, it does sound as though she could be in danger. Hopefully, the Ashes to Ashes team were able to help Gail finally exercise her demons. If you want more scary and creepy video clips, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out these two links right there. Leave us a comment down below or hit that thumbs up button because it lets us know you're enjoying the episodes. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Peace!